Here, Hopper, if you can sit quietly here on my lap, you, you can read the book too. Okay, walk. There he goes. Why frogs are wet, by Judy Hawes, illustrated by Mary Ann Fraser. Let's start. There's a pine barrens tree frog right there, and a choco leaf frog. Why frogs are wet? Huh. Frogs were here on Earth before people. They were here before monkeys or cats. Frogs were here before giraffes. Frogs have been here for millions of years. Well, wow, that's a lot of years. Long before there were frogs, there were fish. Bloop. The fish breathed through their gills. After a long time, new kinds of fish appeared. They they could live out of water for a little while. When their ponds dried up, they were able to flop about on land. Flop, flop, flop. They had to flop <laughs> because they had no legs. Ah, poor fish. Later, some kinds of fish appeared that had legs in place of fins. Amphibians. These were the forefathers of our frogs. <laughs> well, let's continue. A frog can live in the water and on the land. It is called an amphibian. Amphibian. Amphibian is from a Greek phrase that means having a double life. The frog has wet skin. The wet skin holds the secret of his double life. The frog breathes through its skin. He also breathes through its lungs. Ooh! Underwater, a frog breathes through its skin. It gets air out of the water. On land, a frog breathes through its lungs and its skin. But it can breathe through its skin only when the skin is wet. It cannot get enough air through its lungs alone. If the skin dries out, the frog can't breathe. The frog dies. Oh, I'm sorry you had to hear that, Hopper. A frog's wet skin is always fresh. It sheds its skin often. New wet skin has already grown under the old skin. The frog eats the old skin. Hibernating carpenter frog. In the fall and winter, frogs dig into the mud under streams and ponds. They stay there for months and months. They hardly breathe. OMG, they can still survive like that? And their hearts slow down. They hibernate. Hibernate. That means that they sleep through winter. As soon as the frogs come out in the spring from their hibernation, they hunt for girlfriends and boyfriends. Bright red eastern wood frogs. Some kinds of frogs live all their lives in water. Others live in damp woods or marshland. But all frogs return to lakes, ponds, and or puddles to mate and lay their eggs. The female frogs lay their eggs in the water. The, then the male frogs fertilize the eggs. A clump of eggs looks like a large helping of tapioca pudding. Well, um, I know what tapioca pudding is. If you don't, you should research about it. It's delicious. The eggs hatch in four to twenty-one days. Frog babies just hatched. 
They are called tadpoles or pollywogs. Pollywogs. They look and swim like fish, like minnows. They breathe through gills like fish, like fish. The gills look like fingers on either side of the tadpole's head. After a few days, the gills are covered over with skin. Then you can see the hind legs growing. Next, the front legs appear. The tail is slowly taken into the body. Next, wait. Lungs for breathing on land grow inside the frog. Now the little frog is an amphibian. It can live on land or in the water. And did you know that a baby frog, not a tadpole or a pollywog, it, well, it's a young, already frog, sitting on a lily pad type, jumping around, eating bugs type, is called a froglet. Not an adult frog yet. But it's called a froglet. <laughs> There are more than two thousand kinds of frogs. They are all found all over the world. All of them have wet skin. Many frogs are green or brown, but there are frogs of almost every color. Here's a bunch of frogs. Blue right here is the blue poison dart frog from Suriname. The male carries the eggs and tadpoles on his back until they are well developed. A good parent. Oh, the glass frog from Costa Rica. These frogs are transparent underneath. Whoa. Arum frog from Southern Africa. This frog is ivory when the ivory swamp lilies are in bloom. The rest of the year, it is brown with silvery stripes along its sides. Oh, look! Common gray tree frog from North America. That's where I live. I'm in Ohio. This frog it changes color according to its mood. It may be gray, green, or brown. It's like a little chameleon. Oh, I love this one, white tree frog from Australia. This frog is often found in people's bathrooms. <laughs> That's hilarious. Omg, Darwin's frog. I love this frog. It was discovered by Darwin. It's from Chile. This frog floats upside down in the water to imitate a fallen leaf. Casual poison dart frog. They also come in red with blue legs from Colombia. This is the most poisonous frog in the world. Poison. Nom nom nom. Eek. <laughs> tomato frog. I can see why. It's a tomato. It's a tomato frog. It's a little red. It's from Madagascar. I watched a movie called Madagascar. The tomato frog spends most of the year hiding, but comes out during spring rains. Painted reed frog from Tanzania to South Africa during warm ah months during warm month during warm months. Hundreds of these frogs will call with a series of shrill whistles. Omg! Thousands? Wait, hundreds? Still a lot. Ooh, Asian horned frogs. I often mistake leaves for this. It's from Southern Asia. This frog looks like a brown leaf from the forest floor. <laughs> no wow, these are actual sizes. The Goliath frog. The American bullfrog. I saw that once, and the teeny weeny little grass frog, adorable. These are frogs the size of dogs. There are big frogs and little frogs. A giant frog lives in Africa. It is twelve inches long, not counting its legs. The largest frog in America is the bullfrog. Oh, I can imitate a bullfrog sound.
Mm, they sound like tubas. Its body is six to eight inches long. The smallest frog in America is a tree frog called a little grass frog. It's only half an inch long. Half an inch long. So cute. Oh, spring peepers, mink frogs. Frogs were some of the first creatures on Earth to have voices. I have a voice. La 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 la. I'm talking. They use them when they hunt for mates, boyfriends or girlfriends. Frogs in love. In the spring, when a frog sings, its throat looks like a balloon, a balloon, a balloon. <laughs> you have a balloon too. Croak. Okay, I might be embarrassed. There are humans watching. <laughs> Little hopper. <laughs> the voices of bullfrogs are deep and low. They seem to say, "Jug a rum, <laughs> jug a rum." <laughs> Tree frogs have a high-pitched song. It rings like distant bells. Other frog calls are grunts, mm, squeaks, squeak, or squawks. Most female frogs do not sing. That was a cricket, but they scream when they are frightened. Ah! Like most、uh, organisms, organisms are like well, anything that's alive, anything that has a voice would scream when frightened. Southern cricket frog. Oh, I love southern cricket frogs. They're so cute. Great jumpers. Hop. They can leap ten, twenty, or thirty times their body length. They jump very fast and in zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. <laughs> The frog jumps to get away from its enemies. Grr! One who tries to do harm to someone, most likely someone in particular. Sometimes it jumps to catch its food. When it looks for food, the frog does not jump about carelessly.、Ah, jump, 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 jump. <laughs> They don't do that. It usually waits, motionless, like this, for insects to fly within striking distance, like this. Strike. It may sit on a branch, a lily pad, or a rock, or it may float in the water. Its big bulging eyes can see in all directions. Frogs stare without blinking. Oh, my eyes are getting dry. It hurts. I did win a few staring contests with my mom, but I haven't done it in a long time. Ow! Frogs will eat anything that seems to be a living, moving insect. If if the insect stops moving, the frog will pay no attention to it. Okay. So here, now. But if it's like the frog will pay no attention, like no, 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 <laughs> move away from it. Frogs will starve before they eat dead bugs. When the frog's staring eyes spot a victim within striking distance, the frog's tongue makes the catch. It seldom misses. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> A frog's tongue is different from ours. It is attached to the front of its mouth. My tongue is attached to the back of the mouth.、Oh. <laughs> it folds back towards its throat.、Oh, I'm trying.、Oh. <laughs> its tongue flips forward. The far end of the tongue has a sticky surface. This sticky end wraps around the insect. The insect sticks to the tongue, and the tongue swings back into the frog's mouth. The frog throws the insect down its throat. All this, all this takes less than the tenth of a second. Also, the the frog would maybe chew. Nom nom nom. Frogs catch insects that are in the water, in the air, or on land. They come out to find food at twilight. That is sometime in the night time, maybe evening, or on rainy and cloudy days. During the oops, 
During the heat of the day, they hide under damp leaves or under the water. They have to keep their skin wet because they are amphibians. Never forget that frogs are amphibians. They can live in the in the water or on land, but only as long as their skin stays wet. The end. So, Hopper, did you like that story? Yeah, it was all about me and my cousins and my friends, and it was so cool. And I didn't know that one of my cousins had actually pretended to be a leaf. <laughs> well, that's all for now. Goodbye. See you soon for the next reading. Oh, and please check out the one about Darwin's frog. P.S. It eats the eggs. Then they go into a throat pouch, and then they turn into tadpoles. And once they're fully grown, it opens its mouth. Ah, and then the babies jump out. It's crazy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, huh? Croaker, what's this? Wait, there's a fly. Oh, hi, fly. No, spit it out. It, it was moving. I'm hungry. Okay, just hit the, please. I don't want them to see this, and this is also my pet fly. Okay.